give you the green light. Hi, everyone. So I'm delighted to welcome for um, a lightning talk, Martin Ma. He's a front-end engineer at NetEase from Hangzhou in China. Uh, so Martin, please take it away. Uh, OK. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, to participate in this meeting. And uh, what I want to share today is uh, how my team built a CL-based uh, cloud IDE. And uh, uh, before starting, please let me br briefly introduce myself. Uh, okay, my name is uh, Xiaobo, and you can call me Martin. And I come from China, and uh, I'm a front-end uh, development uh, engineer, and I work and, uh, at uh, NetLease. Okay, let's get to the point. And believe uh, everyone here, everyone here that uh, knows CIA provide a powerful, flexible, and uh, extensible ADE. Uh, you just need to get the CIA Docker deployed, deployed, deployed on a remote server, and you can get an IDE that, run, that can run in a browser. Um, but the question is, uh, how team use here? Oh, uh, yeah, I think uh, I can give everyone in my team a doc container to run the IDE in browser. But uh, image that, what they will do in, the, in this IDE? Uh, they may want to uh, git clone the git library repository. Okay, but they will find that they, they don't have the permission. Uh, they may need to configure the SSH keys stuff to get the GitLab permission. It is simple in their own computer, but it may be not very simple in that container. Uh, and uh, they, they may inter encounter some similar uh, problems like uh, the private uh, a private uh, npm packages. Uh, so if you want to want them to use this cloud IDE, you must do things to something to make the, to make this this process simple. Okay, here is the structure of what I have done for for let the thing to like to let to let like things uh, simple uh, and uh, and. The first part is uh, let's say the top right panel, top right corner, the IDE front end pages. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, create or delete your IDE uh, in that in that page, and uh, you can manage the uh, VS Code experience and, and some like some plugin in in these pages, and uh, and integrate, integrated the OA uh, to this to this. Uh, uh, system so I can know who you are and uh, what permission you have. And uh, the second part is uh, uh, bottom right corner, like uh, the IDE backend. Uh, you can manage the, the, the accept the uh, the interface for the front end. And the most important part is the container manager. Uh, this is where the real uh, CR Docker container uh, create or delete here, and uh, the sec the third part is the uh, Docker is the Docker file, uh, maybe maybe, and uh, I write some scripts and uh, CI extensions to make things uh, go easier. And in these scripts, uh, and provide um, wait a moment. And generate the users GitLab SSHK uh, for uh, for that uh, they can access the GitLab repository and uh, and configure the npm registry because you know that uh, in your company there there must be some private uh, uh, npm packages and you need to configure the re registry to your private re registry and uh, in some cases cases that uh, the user may want to uh, Install some system uh, dependence, so I can. So I need to give them the them the uh, root permission, and uh, and install the the SH and for get a, to get a beautiful uh, CR terminal, mm. and uh, I write some CR extensions 
like uh, the OA. And then you can know, and can know who you are and, uh, and, can, and can know what permissions you have and, uh, and change the private uh, uh, plugin and um, private uh, re uh, um, registry. It's the environment. Uh, it's just the environment uh, maintenance maintenance parameters uh, in there. Uh, I change it uh, to my to my own private plugin registry. So uh, we can install and uh, publish private uh, VS Code extensions and uh, and, de and development uh, uh, mini browser that. Uh, Make uh, you can uh, development uh, the uh, mobile mobile pages easier. And uh, here is some uh, uh, maybe I can share the screen. Sorry, that uh, we can just share the whole screen. That uh, here is the uh, uh, ID front end pages. You can create uh, an ID um, from a GitLab registry or just from a template, like uh, React from Create React app, or View3 from View CUI, uh, or from the GitLab registry. And uh, here is uh, uh, plugin management and just do something. Uh, and just uh, proxy the interfaces to VSX registry, so I can get the full public uh, uh, public per, uh, VS Code extensions. And uh, here is my ID and built for my for my team. And uh, here is my team logo. And uh, the top right uh, the top right yeah. panel is. Uh, uh, this is my name in Chinese, and so I know who you are and uh, and uh, what permissions you have. And uh, here, and give a uh, full screen and uh, to just like the the the, the web uh, coding simple. And uh, here is the terminal, and you know that uh, the Oregon CR terminal it's it doesn't it didn't like uh, have this uh, uh, highlight in the terminal and. Uh, this this is and this is a cause ZSH work, and here I provide a, a mobile debugger page that uh, you can debug this page here, and you can just change this widths and height like a groom like a groom like a groom did, and uh, the console. Yeah, you can see that uh, the console and the network of these pages. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's what I have done to let my team use this cloud ID. Okay, I think uh, um, it's the process is not uh, very compli compli complicated because that still has done the difficult, uh, the most difficult things for for me. Okay, that's all. I think. Uh, Okay, sorry for my English. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, that was uh, no need to apologize, Martin. That was fantastic. Thank you. And I think it's a great example of, um, you know, adding an authentication layer into, uh, say, a based IDE environment. Um, so we're running a little bit over, but we're going to give you a break. We all need a break. Um, so take a refresher, go ahead and get a few breaths of fresh air, grab the drink of your choice, and we will be back in approximately 10 minutes. So that will be 12.35 Eastern Time, North America, or at 6.35 Central European Time. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is in China, but uh, yeah, 10 minutes from now, we will be back. Thank you, everybody. Um.